Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create inventory and how to use it in your game. Now we talk about the main concept of my approach. First, we need the user interface uh, to display inventory content and interact with items. Second, a code. All inventory interactions are described by code. UI interactions like clicks, dragging, and etc. And we need to store data somehow. We can store permitted inventory data or just main item information needed to know what will be shown like name, description, or icon. Okay, let's start. I created a new Unity 3D project. Create new folder scripts uh, to store inventory code. Create new folder for UI elements. Also, we need a folder for store inventory data. And create folder for images and icons. I switch to 2D scene view, create main canvas for game UI and change UI scale mode to scale with screen size in canvas scalar component and set reference resolution to 1920 and 1080 to make game view compatible on many displays and resolutions. For inventory we need some background. Create a panel and call it inventory panel. Set anchor presets to middle center to make it a pair center. After that, I set the color of background. Create inventory slots container and stretch it by both sides. and add grid layout group component on it. This need to arrange inventory items automatically. After that, create one initial inventory slot. Create a few copies of initial slot to see how all slots will be arranged by grid layout group component and configure grid layout group to set alignment and paddings. After that, remove all slots except first. Remove image component from inventory slot because it just apparent. Create new border and background images. Now create a slot icon and set initial image just for show. Clear image because it will be set automatically depend on which inventory item rendered. Finally, we go to write code. Create new script and call it Inventory UI. Add variables for store slots container and slot prefab. Now we need to save inventory slot as prefab. Add inventory UI to inventory panel and set slots container and slot prefab. Add 
After that, need to add variable for max inventory slot count. In start method, create inventory slots via provided prefab. and check in game mode how it looks now. Ok, now need to create a new script for inventory slot, call it inventory slot UI. In this script, we need to sprite icon to set inventory item icon and icon image to access it on UI. On start we just put icon sprite to icon image on UI. Add inventory slot component and pass needed data and check how it looks again. Good, now it basically works and we need to go debug. I'm gonna create a new script called Inventory. This script will be manage internal inventory processes. Define variable to say how many slots can be on the inventory. Also, we need to script which describes an inventory cell Inventory cell is, is what exactly contains inventory slot item. Inventory item should contain a sprite or icon to see it on inventory panel. Back to inventory class and define array for inventory cells and create maximum available inventory cells. Create new method which will be returns all inventory cells. This method need to get access to inventory cells from outside. Now open inventory UI, remove unnecessary for now variable, add references to inventory class and use inventory slots count instead of previously variable. Get slot UI component for fill inventory slot data. So, also need to get inventory cells first. Create method in inventory slot UI to fill itself, call it set data, and pass to it sprite to set it to icon image. back to inventory UI and call this method. Now need to place game object which will be contains, contains inventory component and pass it to inventory UI component. Inventory slot will be filled from inventory but it completely empty and as we see the empty slot shows empty icon and this is not good so we need to go to inventory slot ui class and add check if this slot is empty we should hide the icon completely and let's take a look how it looks now Mm -hmm. Now it's okay. Next, I'm gonna create new method for add temporary inventory items just for testing purposes. Let's 
add three items which should be shown now into inventory. There is no any items uh, that's not correct. Because need to add resources folder in root folder of Unity project and move resources in our case it's uh, images to resources folder and use generic version of load resource method. Now it's looked correct. Well, it's time to create a database to store items info. So add new script to describe database. It's db not for store inventory items. It's db for store items information. That's mean db will contains information what exactly the time item is, how it's look, what kind of item and etc. Create item script to describe database item. Add name and sprite fields, it's enough just for now. And in items db, change script type to scriptable object. And add items array. This array is exactly our db rows need to add attribute for create this database instance in the project assets. Now we can create instance of items database and fill items and use it in inventory script to get information about items directly from there. We need to add method in itemsdb which return in requested item by item name. In dummy load method we just request a data in the database instead of use resource loading. Therefore, we don't need resources folder anymore. Remove it and put items to be reference to the inventory. And finally, check that works correctly. Okay, it works. That's done for the first episode. In the next episodes, I will show how to implement dragon items in inventory, show items info and use database for store inventory state. So, thank you for watching and bye.